Is this? You know who it is. Oh God. This is the kind of room that just screams, "I can do the job." Like quite a change from your office, really. I forgot Emma's voice. Thanks. <laughs> It's like high pitch. It wasn't like a California girl. It wasn't, it wasn't oh, bitchy. There, there, there's a there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What's that? A shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Like a real show off. Whoever's office this is, they must be a real stuck up oh. jerk. Who's this? <clears throat> oh, I get to do it. <clears throat> Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That that voice. Right. right. Oh, Let me do a lower voice. God. There we go. There he is. Long time no see, Edgeworth. <clears throat> huh? Ah! Mr. Mr. Edgeworth? You know him from somewhere? Right, right. Uh, uh, of course. I I'm his biggest fan. My sister introduced us once, and... Right. Her sister is the chief prosecutor, after all. <clears throat> well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. No, did I? No, no. It's just Mr. Wright here, he... Hey, don't blame me. <laughs> oh, we're just trying to investigate a murder case. Murder. A body was found in the, in the river in Lego City. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A body has been discovered. Two jokes. A body was found in this nasty, bright red sports car in the parking lot. Dun, dun, like, it looked dun, absolutely dun, disgusting. Dun, dun. Da -da -da. Bright red park. Hmm. That would be my car. What if? What the fuck is that smirk, Edgeworth? That's a new That'd sprite. That's a new sprite. What? Your car? I'll say one thing. She can certainly scream. <clears throat> <laughs> you didn't Speaking scream loud enough there. The fuck are you talking about? Saying show off? God fucking damn it. So, the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, uh, wait, uh, shit. Uh, 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 wait, no, no, she didn't do that. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> wait. So you're saying the uh, chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir! Emma Sky! It's, um, uh, it's nice to meet you again. No, that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, <clears throat> uh, now, I remember, yes, you've, uh, you've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would be this, become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. Being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. W wait what did you say? <laughs> Lana Sky is the uh, chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be pro the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. Ah, shit. You, M Mr. Edgeworth. Here we go. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you rumors. Mean? You heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. No, no, no! <laughs> no, 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 Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. That was a big one. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. W what? That's crazy. Oomph. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. In fact, it's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. This case stand for karma? Uh, they they said uh, king of prosecutors, didn't they? I think that's what the trophy is. Hmm. Oh, oh, never mind. King, right? It's probably king. Okay. Toys? That bronze shield? There's got to be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky, yes, we worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago? I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Interesting, so basically she was his Mia. 
Yeah. Oh. Since then, I always felt she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Just tell, tell Red White not to go near her. Uh, <laughs> mistaken? <laughs> Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? No, not that. She stabbed him with my knife. What? What? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was a murder weapon? Kinda sus, Mr. Edgeworth. Mm. To be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Uh-huh, even more you, specific. You were the supplier. Mm. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, man? We've been over this. <laughs> Come on, can you take a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Literally the last case we did, Phoenix. <laughs> what was that all about? <clears throat> you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Alright. Well, all anything right. here to examine? Right. Yeah, the trophy. Yeah, Actually, the trophy. hey, uh, Will Power's here. Right, look at him over there. Okay. No, Will Power. No, 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 no look, look. Will look, Power's? Look. Oh. Steel Samurai! Oh, yeah! <laughs> my, my, my! That's not <laughs> hey, a... hey, hello, Monet! What an amazing bouquet! Just right for Mr. Edgeworth! No kidding. Wait, did you touch the bouquet? Hey, there's a card on it! Back, Back from, from the, the dead. dead, Wendy. I wonder who that could be. Wendy? Like, Peter Pan Wendy? I've never heard that name somewhere before. I've heard that name somewhere before. It is me, you son of a bitch! It's me, Wendy! Ah. You fucking asshole! <coughs> and beside it, a giant steel samurai! Wow, I want one! Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy? Is she Mrs. Mr. Mrs. Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? God, I hope not. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she have flashed back on this point. Um. <laughs> I don't think so. You son of a bitch, it's me! What you son of a bitch! Fuck you! I've been wondering... What the heck is this? It has a big K on it, King so K it probably Rool. means... <laughs> yeah, King K. Rool. Mm, prosecutors. Huh? Was that? Mm, it's King of Prosecutors trophy. It's a King of Prosecutors trophy. K K K K Whoa! Uh, oh, am I? Hey, not bad. <laughs> No, prosecutors? we have to censor that. <laughs> okay, wait. Emma, why? <laughs> I don't understand though. Why is it prosecutors if this is a shield? If it's a shield, shouldn't it be for like the defense? Defense attorneys? I don't know. Yeah, never mind. It's a great honor. They uh, send that shield to the best prosecutor every year. What? So? So that K. That's... K stands for king? That's kind of sexist. Yeah, you got a problem with that? You got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of prosecutors. Kind of like employee of the month, only better. King oh. of prosecutors. Okay. King of prosecutors. Uh, why don't right. you talk to Edgeworth again? Okay. Uh, oh, wait, what? Well, uh, we why can don't show it to this Edgeworth? again, actually. Why don't you show it to other- No, no, no! Oh, I guess you can. So that's the king of Prosecutor's Shield, huh? Well done, Edgeworth. You must be proud to be- You must be proud to be the king of Prosecutors. Congratulations, king of Prosecutors! Shut the fuck up. Please stop saying that. That still doesn't explain one thing. Why is the tip of this shield broken off? Ooh. Kinda sus, but why don't you sh uh, present the thing to Edgeworth? This thing? Uh, no, the, the the trophy, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Never mind. He examined it. Right, 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 right. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool, though. We have a completely different screen if we present her. So basically, this says that you were the best of the best last year. It's um, kind of weird because I like lost three cases or two cases, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> because of you, Mister Wright. Whatever. You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. It was the only it was the only vacation day I ever took. Kind of sus, huh? Why is that? Cause I had to surgically remove the bullet off my shoulder. I mean, <clears throat> I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police PlayStation downtown. You have been there, have you? 
where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Detective Gumshoe! Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? It's, I've got more important things to worry about. I don't like this sprite. I don't like this smirk. Uh, this sprite's weird. This sprite's weird. He looks... Actually kind of does look like Kodo in that, in that sprite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award. For better or for worse. Right. Yesterday was a very busy day at the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Hmm. Son of a bitch. Yep. Here we go. The day of the crime. Could you tell me more about yesterday? Oh, my the day of the murder? Hello. Hello. Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning? Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file evidence for all for solved cases. We call it evidence transfer. Wiping your hands off old cases, in other words. Son of a bitch. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There was an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. Obviously, as you may know, Mr. Gumshoe did not get a raise. <laughs> even a year? Even after a year? That's so sad. <laughs> and that's when you got the shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got here at 5.12. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on preci precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in memory. So it's especially telling that you remember this. <laughs> the only thing I trust is solid evidence. Ah. All right. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Why don't Who's you take this? this one? Who is this? Uh, it's a new person. Um, oh, ah, I see. I know, I know a lot of people say that this guy's the sexiest character in all of Ace Attorney. Are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? <clears throat> I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir. At the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report. What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. I should uh, take a picture of this guy, actually. Sky, sir? No, sir. No, the name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. Hmm. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? What is that supposed to mean? Wait, what is it? <laughs> I made a clear request for the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but sir, I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Give me your name. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Me Meekins, sir, uh, Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins, take a report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. <laughs> <laughs> but sir, I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. <laughs> <laughs> what the frick, Phoenix? Brains? Phoenix! So, so mean! Alright. Right. Yes, sir? Oh, God. Fucking caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Uh, let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. Simp. <laughs> the victim was a detective from that same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down at least. Alright. Piece of shit. Going to the police department. Who are we gonna see? Who are we gonna see? Who are we gonna see? Oh, the entrance. It's not the exit. What's the, or, or the, the building. As yeah, you know. it's not the actual building. Oh, it's the mascot. <sighs> We're finally here. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? It's kind of stupid. Beats me. That took almost 30 minutes by taxi. The traffic wasn't even that bad. The police department. Huh. I've only ever been to criminal affairs next door. Hmm? Hold on. What's that? Oh, that's unsettling. <laughs> Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? 
Oh, wait, I know. This is the Blue Badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you sure know a lot about the police. It's almost like you were arrested that one time. <laughs> Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the Blue Badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the Blue Badger? Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure yeah, is running he... over here fast. Oh god, oh god! Oh! Oh, but Gangnam Style, pal! What the fuck? <laughs> She's just doing Gangnam Style. <laughs> Watch me whip! Watch me nae nae, pal! Stop- stop I dancing! <clears throat> Sorry, I found his voice, fuck. <clears throat> Soda, Soda, kinda. Hey, hey, pal! Uh, what, are you, what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> Specifically, why were you dancing over there? Hey, I'm, I'm gonna join a new show, pal. Dancing with the stars. <laughs> what the- uh, I never well, thought uh... he'd make it. Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chastic information. Hey, pal, uh, hey, I'll have you know, I'm a very busy man, pal. I'm a busy dancer. Opa Gangnam style, pal. <laughs> I, I gave, I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not uh, agree to defend the suspect in this case. Piece of shit. What? Why not? Huh? Oh, uh, well, uh, it's just that the uh, chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. Uh, she says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and uh, she killed him. You better call Bruce. <laughs> but, uh, what if she's not telling the truth? Well, uh, yeah, well, no. Uh, yes, no, pal. Uh, come on, pal. There's uh, plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was fake? Uh, hey, pal, uh, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why does Maya look different? <laughs> <laughs> Why, is it... Why is she wearing different clothes? Why does she sound different? Why, <laughs> Why is this uh, little girl so peeped at me? I'm Miss Maya. She's a relative of the suspect. She's Lana's guy's sister. Ah, shit. Uh, whoa, the, the chief prosecutor's little sister. Just please investigate this carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You, uh, you don't want to be overheard using the word like fate. Huh? It's just, uh, it's the sensitive issue with, uh, with us these days. Oh. Especially after the fucking Von Karma thing. At least another one there. <clears throat> so, uh, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, uh, well, uh, nothing, really. Uh, they kicked me out of, uh, criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe? What did you do this time? Uh, what do you mean this time, pal? What the fuck? And then, uh, what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We, uh, never had a chief prosecutor to murder anyone before. Well, I mean, <laughs> other than that one time. But, uh, only the <laughs> highest ranking people are being led into criminal affairs now. Uh, the lowest ranking guy in there is the chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us, uh, rank and file detectives in here at all. None of you? I know this I know is an important trial, but... Isn't that a little odd? Yeah, it's fucking unfair. So, uh, I thought I'd uh, spend the day getting the badger down, d dance down fat. Open <laughs> Gangnam Style, as they say. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? Uh, the chief of police himself is directing his investigation, pal. So, all you're doing is dancing? An officer marshal was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer marshal? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know the marshal guy. A patrolman in charge of the crime scene. Uh, it's unheard of, pal. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Maybe we can present That's something what they call me. Don't you uh, look at the creepy? Don't you cre look at the creepy thing in the background? Hey, wait, can you present his profile? Oh no, you can't. It's not the second game yet. You can't present the profile yet. Man. Uh, yeah, present the idea. Why not? Okay. Yeah, present the idea. Um, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Well, uh, first of all, it's none of your business, pal. But uh, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. No, oh damn it. Piece of shit. It's people like you that get me in so much trouble all the time. Meaning, Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, kind of, pal. Mm, let's see, Bruce Goodman. Hmm, Goodman. Sounds familiar. Sounds like that show I was watching the other day. Yeah, sounds like the guy Who you was should call. Alright, oh, uh, Monsters, Inc. featuring John Goodman. That's right. That's what I was watching. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now my mistake. Nah, my mistake, pal. But uh, didn't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Whoa, 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 I would never have an affair with another man. I mean, Bruce Goodman, he's the victim. That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Is there more talk options? Yes, he can. Ah, uh, Bruce Goodman. So, better call Bruce. <laughs> this ID card belonged to the victim? He was a detective like myself. But uh, not anymore, because he's dead. Detective <laughs> Bruce Goodman. 
Huh. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, uh, Detective Goodman uh, should be in at the. Uh, why, is he, why is he slowly becoming Italian here? <laughs> <laughs> sort of, sort of, kind of, pal. Well, Detective Goodman should have been here at the uh, police department yesterday. There was uh, evidence transfer for the case he handled two years ago. Evidence transfer in red. Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that in too. In red. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. It's kind of sus, bro. Well, uh, that's the thing. Here's the thing. It's uh, hard to say this, but uh, word is that the chief prosecutor's guy called the mayor to a uh, parking lot. Mm. Not a pretty sight. Yeah. And Lana's confessing as much. It's kind of oh. fucking weird, pal. Why don't you look at the creepy, the creepy like jester boy? All right. <laughs> Um, I was wondering about that. What? The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. It's been all day oh, and all night working on it. Here's another cutscene. <laughs> you made this, Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> the chief threw together some designs and I did uh, just my thing, pal. I, 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 I always got A pluses in uh, arts and crafts. Nice, nice work. <laughs> oh, no, she's being sarcastic. N nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dances, dance, dance until the batteries die. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't stop dancing until the curtains fall. Y you know, you well. know the, the 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 dance plague that happened like all those centuries yeah, ago, yeah, where yeah. people oh, dance to death. Jesus oh, Christ! Yes, yeah, that's what's happening, pal. He's he's uh, contagious, you know. Uh, poor Blue Badger, fated to dance until he drops. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's a bit of a strong illusion. Um, Mass hysteria. Mass hysteria. Scientifically speaking, it's not great. Historically speaking, it's accurate. Um. Uh, why don't why don't you uh, what, 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 what can you show him? Show, show him come to something else. Okay. Why don't we show him this? Bucket stub, pal. Okay. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car. Stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? Kind of sus, bro. Why would he drive uh, Chief Sky to do such a thing? Uh, wait, I I, I didn't mean. I I'm sure, of course, uh, someone else really did it. Someone who must have, uh, someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth, like you, Phoenix, right? No. <laughs> the car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Uh, poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Uh, more talking options? No. Okay. No. Why don't you give him something? The something, uh, trophy, actually. Interesting. Yeah, actually, because they had the the award ceremony and everything. The award ceremony. Hey, that's it! That's the uh, King of Prosecutors award that uh, Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Watch, he wasn't. Fuck yeah, I was. Oh, okay, never mind. Of course, pal. I got award for diligence myself. Ah, congratulations? That's surprising. But I lost it. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I found my award for being orderly, but I lost it. <laughs> I was wondering, uh, what... I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, uh, there's a reason. I broke it. I got mad, so I <laughs> slammed on the floor. No, I'll, I'll tell you what it is later. No, tell us now. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he's forgotten. <laughs> but I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers at the prosecutor's office. Naysayers? Must be because of his rumors. I mean, what do you expect? He literally looks like uh, Manfred von Karma. What do you expect? He was, he was trained by him, I'm pretty ah, sure. Ah, here we go. Edward's trouble seems so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. He's in a tough spot again. again? But at this time, he's uh, at least he's not on a boat in the lake this time. Boom. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll have my revenge, Chris! What, what, what did the Yanni Yogi sound like? Hey, Chris, it's me, Yanni Yogi. They'll sex. Well, uh, it all started with the murder case of the defense attorney, Hamond. Rich, Richard Hamond. That's how we pronounced it back then. Uh, but Edgeworth, Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal. There have always been rumors about Mr. Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. It's horrible. Nothing outright, but there was always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one was whispering. They're practically shouting. But there's no evidence against him. Yeah, pal. Well, uh, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea it was under the gun. Anyway, this uh, latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case uh, 
is because he's aiming for a chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet in this one. He's doing this for all of us. And uh, that's all I know about that. I'm not on the uh, case officially, you know. Uh, thank you. Well, surely you can tell us why the shield is broken, Gumshoe? Why aren't you handling this case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who uh, was... What was his name? The guy in the parking lot? That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the uh, chief police. Officer Marshall? <laughs> is he some kind of Wild West sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. I don't doubt it. From West L.A. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Okay. Letter of introduction. Oh, dude, he's, he's, like, he's like a teacher. He's like a teacher. He's giving you college. <laughs> I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there. Nobody will look at you twice, pal. Even with your spiky hair and shit. Very conspicuous. Right. Unconspicuous. Alright, here we go. Prosecutors? Where are we? Prosecutors? Parking lot. Prosecutors' uh, office is underground parking lot, pal. Looks like the investigation is still going. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a guess. <clears throat> I have to be getting back to the shop? Sorry, it looks like I'll stuck, be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. What if it's Jake Marsh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still here. Uh, he hello. Why the surprise looks? Didn't I mention that, like, I don't wear a bra? <laughs> I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs, too. Uh, that's kind of evident. You didn't have to tell us that. What happened to the security guard? <laughs> oh, she disappeared. Oh, Jesus. Bambina. Hey, uh, what's wrong, Bambina? Uh, you're looking like a dog that's lost its herd. Jake Marshall. Strange, Strange guy in charge of a crime scene. <laughs> Alright, let's make this you, quick. Uh, Dr. Marshall. Jake Marshall. Look at this letter. Would you mind reading this for me? Fuck, you know, I'm illiterate. What's this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right to the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. Maybe, may we investigate? I think the fuck not, you trick-ass bitch. Gumshoe, uh, that old cowardly, hey. that old cow dog. Mm, he was holding a birthday party or something. He holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look where, look where it should say letter of introduction. It says invitation. Ah, uh, I, I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No worries. This proves it's Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> Oh no. Better than a blood test. Oh, everyone's getting roasted today. Guess I better let you in then, Bambino. Uh, thank you, Officer Marshall. Oh, that's right. He's a patrolman, not a detective. Bambino. Which reminds me. Hey, hey, wait a sec. I Isn't the crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks. It's almost as if uh, me and uh, Emma kind of share the same brain. Clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. By the letter of the center, strike for all the lands known. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot nanny. Yeehaw! <laughs> Note to self: Police investigations are like settling land. Emma. Oh god, she's gonna be called. She's gonna be colonizer. Oh. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, what, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. We need this anymore. What? We're gonna we could like crumple it and discard it just like that. I apparently don't need it Inventory anymore. Inventory management? You talk to uh, okay. Mr. Jake Marshall. What if you talk to him? Okay, what if, let's talk to him. The victim. Officer Blame Marshall, me could you tell us more about the victim? No. <laughs> Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, could you be a little more specific? I knew a good man once. His name was Richard Robert Hammond. <laughs> huh. Robert, wait, Robert or Richard? Robert, that's what it was. Bruce Goodman, he was a detective, right? No, he was a lawyer. Well, well, aren't you a feisty little doggy there now? He was a. They, they, they say you need a criminal lawyer, but he is a criminal lawyer. <laughs> Detective Goodman was stabbed here at uh, 5.15. The smiling Madonna told me the detail. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. One stab to the chest, a fine piece of work. Fine piece of work? This here is the autopsy report. It's updated, just for your information. Thank Death you. blood loss, one knife wound, died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. It's kind of an insecurity on uh, our <laughs> part. Uh, it's like, it's not updated. 
<laughs> was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Involved? Oh, funny you should mm. mention that, Bambina. He was having an affair. Bambina. Oh. Chief Prosecutor Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. <laughs> nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So, there's no motive. Exacto mundo, pal. Goodman wasn't exactly a particularly gifted detective. That's why he died. Again, who isn't? Sorry, who is? He wouldn't have died if he was. That's the one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prosecutor, prospector. So my sister called the, vic called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here to this parking lot? So it seems. By calling an unarmed man to the shootout at high noon. I've done that before. I've killed many men in my time. I many can dudes. see that. Um, so shave my beard. I don't mean any my offense, beard. but... Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective? The fuck's that supposed to mean? You call me out? Sissy, they shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? Even though I'm from West LA, even though I'm from West LA, apparently. <laughs> I was one of them fancy shoe detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So, why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short in hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do, nothing important at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's best he uh, runs to, uh, runs without Edgeworth, eh? Uh, Canadian. Canadian. Is that what he means? <laughs> huh? A. A. Edgeworth? Yeah, I know he's, I know he's yours, Mr. Wright, but, you know. <laughs> That, uh, cow dog's been kicked by the cattle run by order of the chief police. Just, uh, he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? All yeah, right. That's all we can say. Well, can we, do we move now into the... I think we can slide to the right. Yeah, we can check out the car. Yeah, okay. Slide to the right! Woo! Okay. So Boom. let's check this out. This rope, this is, ro this rope, is it? Yep, they laid it in the outline of the victim's body. Uh, so wait, the victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. Uh, you've got to be the only person I know that would come to that conclusion. Okay. Bambino. <laughs> Bambino. This appears to be the car where the but this appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock in the trunk is busted. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Subordinate. Subordinate. Quite a luxury car. I just screams I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. Why weren't you a prosecutor, dumbass? Because <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't doing it for the money. Yeah, it's fucking Larry's fault. <laughs> it's not about money. It's about sending a message. Ooh! This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Oh, check it no, out. Oh, fuck it. Is that, is that morally correct? You know, like, how old is this cell phone? Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's check it out. Uh, Phoenix is being a pervert. He's checking out phones. What? I'm not moving this. What? It's just Automatic, moving it by its... What? I, it's Go the illusion it. of free choice. Fine, fine. The game wants me to say, examine this. Say check it out. Yeah, he did say check yeah, it out. Yeah. We can zoom in. We can zoom in. Okay. Man, what a boring strap. Mine is pink. And What's wrong with it? it? Everyone has different <laughs> taste, you know. Hey, check it out. It's a pink. Hey, check out mine. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pink princess strap. These are hard to come by, you know. I see this series is as popular as ever with the kids. Wait till they find out who the lead actor is. Hey, Phoenix. Ah. It's me, Will Powers, lead actor of uh, Big Princess. Oh. Mm, it uh, opens. This phone is still on the redial screen. That's how old this game is. <laughs> huh. what, the, what the fuck is a redial? Redial? Um, I'm pretty sure if you click it, like it, it like shows you the last person called. Ah. It, it, it recalls the last person called. Uh, Mr. Wright? Most phones keep a record of all the calls you made and received. Well, thank you for us uh, Zoomers. <laughs> you just press the... Honestly, yeah, maybe that's why they put this line in. You just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know things about... Oh, wow, even I know about things like redial. Wow. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. 
Uh, where, where are the Zoomers here? Uh, it's just, you never know with people from your generation. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> they're, they're, great. Uh, they're singling great. us out. Whatever. Let's check this phone out. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, okay. Anything here? Oops. Eh? The, the button. Oh, yeah, hey, click the button. You can didn't click the button. What? The blue button. Where did the phone go? Son you, of you a bitch! Out, <laughs> Wait, what? You have to click it. You tabbed out. Why the frick no, did you tab out? No, I press. I right clicked. Why you right click? Skip all this. Yeah. Why you check it? What the frick? I right clicked <laughs> it. I didn't think it would do anything. Okay. So how do you, how do you, how do you open it? Like this. Yeah, just click that button again, but on the on the blue button. Okay. There we go. Now, to see who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't just think first. He just presses the button. <laughs> <push> the button. <laughs> Beep. Oh. Hey. Hey. That's song. Oh, that's you. I know that. Hey, what's going on over here? Ah, oh, oh s sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed the redial on your phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prospector Sky. What? It was my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds, according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now, I got a question for you, partner. I heard the phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ringtones. Oh, that? Oh, I'm sorry. That was just my phone. What? What? Your, your phone? Yeah, it's it's kind of strange, but someone called me. Uh, someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. Uh, wrong number. Mm. I hope you're not lying. They shoot for they shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Uh oh, I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. Mm, I don't it's know. That, that wasn't. That, that was a pretty good lie, I guess, Phoenix. Okay, we're done with the car, but what about the trunk? What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. Look, something's written on it. Can we rotate this? I guess not. You're right. Let's see. 67S122. There's a name printed on, above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so what does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Note to self, for deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. Fuck you, Emma. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. <laughs> Goodman's note. Uh. Better call Saul! Uh, no, I think that's it. I think that's all we can call. do. Okay, so what do we do now? Go to, go to Marshall. Oh! Wait, who? Who's that? Oh, it's Emma, I guess. She's not here. <laughs> and she's go to on the other side. Slide. The there he is. There he He's is. just watching you guys. He's just like staring. <laughs> Lana Scott. So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister. <clears throat> That's correct. That's right. No criminal. But uh, there's a gold mine of evidence against her. <laughs> and Prospector tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. Oh, hello. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. My condolences. Officer Marshall! Yeah, but yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You and my sister, you were- Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's blowing through the uh, prospector's office. Dry wind? Blowing in will. the wind. Someone's up to something here. But who? How many times does the do? I don't know the words. That's what I did in English class. That was like the first assignment we did. Really? To analyze that one song. Yeah. Uh, blowing in the wind. I don't know if you know that song. I don't Suspicious know. about uh, Mr. Edgeworth has been uh, five years around for uh, nearly two years now. Forged evidence and arranging testimonies, you mean? It was unbeatable because uh, he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. Fuck you. But rumors are just 
rumors, aren't they? These prospect, these prosecutors that we're talking about, evidence everything to them. No, no, no. You follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? I hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambina. Chief Prospector, Lana Sky. What? My, my sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. Wait, what you're saying... Wait, you're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's, gun, where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. The big old secret hidden around here is somewhere everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? Not only was he closest, they had something. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> so, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we've got some clues. We have an autopsy report and a note from the victim and a cell phone... So you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing that's still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee you that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma. Yes? I know that song your... I know that song your phone plays when it rings. Uh, what? <laughs> you know that song, Daniel? Yes. Yep. It's the Steel Samurai song theme, isn't it? Steel Samurai! That popular TV show for kids? Hey, wasn't the show I uh, canceled? <clears throat> um... The phone that rang earlier wasn't mine. It was... yours. At 5.18, just after the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I I'm sorry! Can you tell me what you talked about? I... she hung up right away. I see. Mm. A detective is murdered and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Oh, see you guys. shit. See next you guys time. next time. On Total Drama. Alright. Oh.